Okie dokie, we are in the lab, <coughs> which is pretty much extremely messy. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff going on in here. Messy, 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 messy. Anyways, mess everywhere. <coughs> well, that's not the point. The point is, we got a bunch of craziness going on right here. That's the point. Alright, this thing right here <coughs> is the Bendini, whatever, Newman style. Actually, I guess it's more a Newman motor. Alright, believe it or not, right now it's in closed loop. When I say closed loop, I mean it's within its own self. Nothing else. So, there's our battery that's running the beast. It's a little tiny battery. Not very big at all. I got it from the alarm system. I think it's a 4 amp hour battery. <coughs> Full volt. Anyways. That battery is also running two relays. That one and that one. Which take about 100 milliamps each. And then it's running this thing. Which is, let's just say, kind of crude on the bearings. Not easy to turn. So it's, if it was smooth, it would speed up much faster, I think. But anyway, it's been in this closed loop for a couple hours now. Uh, battery voltage is slab dead. It started out pretty much dead and it's keep, it keeps running dead. But As you can see, it's not going much past eight. It's got to run those two relays also. But anyways, the kickback, which is the back EMF, I guess, is going into that rectifier, which from the rectifier goes into these capacitors. And then from these capacitors, goes to the relay switches which this is the read switch that switches them so whenever the motor is off these come on which short it out to the battery so basically the back EMF is stored in the caps and then shot out back to the battery and I guess this is the only reason it's keeping itself alive but I have no idea and the amp meter is not connected right now but it was drawing somewhere from 200 to 300 milliamps running this thing right now in closed loop so give an update on how long this closed loop lasts but it's been going on for a couple hours now maybe a little more actually but the voltage seems to Hold up okay, but it is slowly dropping, so I think eventually it'll just collapse on itself. But we'll see. Oh, yeah, and the RPM is not, as you can see, it's not very fast. I'm going to test it here. Yeah, it's been steady at about 140. 141. Actually, last time I measured it, it was 142, 43. So it's slowing down a bit, but we'll see. We'll see. Maybe it's just extremely efficient. But that's what's going on with it at the moment. And we'll have an update a little bit later. Peace.